So just recently, one of the viewers was asking me, Jeff, I know you grow avocados in the ground in Modesto, and I live out in the country where our temperatures are a little colder. And they wanted to know if you could grow avocados to fruit in containers. You can, but there's a few secrets. Hi, my name is Jeff. Welcome to my Tropical Garden channel. Today we're going to talk about growing avocados to fruitation in containers. If you like this type of channel, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button, click the notification bell, and if you have any comments or questions, leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. So yeah, here we go. We have a, this is a, a, an avocado tree that I have growing in a container. It is a Criollo brand, variety of avocado, I, or Criolla. I'm not sure how the quality of the fruit, but I figured I'd give it a try. And I just do not have any space in my yard for another fruiting tree. So I put it in a big pot. Actually, I put two of them. I have two pots over here. One right here and one right here. And this one over here, when I transplanted it, I did not shake off the compost-based potting soil that I had around the roots, and it ended up dying. I ended up subsequently planting a seed directly into the pot, and it's doing fine. It had no soil around its roots. This one, um, when I planted it, it had, uh, there's a helicopter flying overhead. Um, when I had planted it, uh, it didn't have a very good active root system. It was healthy, but it just didn't have an active root system and a lot of, and all the composted material had fallen off when I had planted it. So it just rooted directly into this, um, into this pot medium, which by the way, I would like to explain when I grow permanent, uh, uh trees in a permanent pot, I do not use a composted material potting soil you want to use a mineral based potting soil such as sand perlite mixture and you can add a little bit of peat moss for to make it lighter because the soil mix will be very heavy but for the most part you're going to want to use a primarily mineral based potting soil there's a few out there that you can find on the internet but i mix my own sand just plain sand uh, a little bit of peat moss and perlite to make the uh, potting soil lighter and more better drainage. Uh, the failure to do that, that is use a big box type of, uh, big box store type of potting soil such as uh, miracle Grow and whatnot. Well, those are made out of compost and compost deteriorates pretty rapidly. Uh, you put water to it and it will last maybe a year, a year and a half before it just falls apart and the plant will get root rot and die, generally. There are a few exceptions, but it's been my experience that that happens. So what I did with this one, just to go back to what, what I did with this guy, is I mixed up a, a, a mixture of sand, uh, peat moss, and perlite. I added a little bit of uh, osmocote fertilizer, that little concentrated uh, little beads of fertilizer. I added that into it and then I planted it. The soil that was around the roots, the compost soil fell off and so I bare, basically bare rooted it into this pot and then I added some compost on the top layer. I planted a plant. Kind of tells me whenever the soil is healthy because of uh, these small plants uh, die off first before you notice any any problems with the uh, the avocado trees and it's doing just great and like I mentioned this one over here had all the root the the uh, it had all the um, composted for um, potting soil on the roots and it subsequently rotted so you don't you don't want to use composted uh, potting soil in uh, your avocado medium unless it's a short term you can do it for a year and it does okay but after a while, it starts to deteriorate and you start getting the uh, root rot. So yeah, there's what I do when I grow them in containers. And then if you need to, you can just wheel them. If the, if the temperatures are getting below, um, getting below, say, you know, in the low 30s, uh, upper 20s, and you're in an area that's 
expected to get, you know, down into the mid 20s or, or below, you may want to protect them. I don't have to here. And I just grew this for landscaping. So yeah, my name is Jeff. If you like this type of video, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. You have a good day.